Yo, yo! What is cracking, guys? We are almost there. We are one week away from living on purpose. And yeah, my excited. Hope you are as well. Just want to touch base with you today and share a little bit more about what, uh, what the second section is. And so the second section is about overcoming fear and becoming courageous. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't talk about often. We kind of, we all have fear, everybody. I mean, we're all scared on, at some level or about something, but most of us don't actually speak about that publicly, right? Because it's kind of looked down upon to say like, oh, I'm weak or you don't want to become vulnerable, right? So um, one of my favorite concepts is the concept of the hero's journey. And, um, you know, I'm kind of just looking over the guide here a little bit in this part and a couple of things that, that stick out to me is, uh, you know, society says loud and clear that we're supposed to play along with the way that it works. But society is not really based around us authentically expressing ourselves and reaching our full potential. That's, that's not what brings society the most, you know, uh, the biggest ROI on, on its dollars, right? Society is more geared towards its own agenda. And if we want to live a fulfilling life, we have to figure out for ourselves what we need to do. That's something that society is, is not going to tell us, you know? So um, essentially, to live on purpose, we need to go out and we need to take this hero's journey. And um, yeah, so we need to take this hero's journey. And the hero's journey involves going into the, the forest of the unknown, right? We're going out and we're, we're, we need to find a path. But if, there, if the path already exists, the path can't be ours. We need to make our own path, you know? And, uh, and we go out into this forest and um, the forest is of our dreams, right? Of our potential, of, of our purpose. And if we see, uh, you know, it's not like it's an easy trip, you know, we fight dragons and, and we're not just sidestepping lizards, like we're going to battle for our dreams. But ultimately, if we want to be fulfilled, that's, that's a journey that we need to take. We need to go out and get that treasure and live on purpose and leave what we know behind and leave the familiar and, you know, one day come back home and with the treasure and then share it with our communities. So the idea of the hero's journey is a really cool one when we think about living on purpose. And I'm just gonna share one little part uh, from you know the end of this section over here. And it says, our soul is calling to us. It's trying to tell us that we have a, un a unique path that only we can take. Our mind can rationalize all sorts of award-winning reasons why we shouldn't take the untraveled uh, trail. But to deny that call from your soul is denying yourself the life which you deserve to live. It's the difference between being fully alive and being bored aimlessly on autopilot. If you don't answer that call, not only will you waste your positive energy, which enables you to go get the treasure, but that same energy will turn negative and ultimately destroy you. So that's it. Real quick, real quick check-in. There's seven days left. Again, the date is July 19th, 2011. It's going to be here before you know it, one week away. And uh, I hope you're excited about it. I'm super thrilled. We will be talking soon and all that good stuff. Later. Peace.